oh hey hey what's up you guys today i am doing a very highly requested video this is a eight month update to see how the hair has been holding up so i'm gonna break that down for you so this is the victoria wig i curled it this time when i first if you haven't seen my first impressions on this wig i'll leave a link down below and on the screen this is a straight wig hold on let me tell you everything that you need to know about this wig really quickly it's so funny like i literally read every single thing about this wig the size the color the length the style and people still ask me questions and i'm just like I, like I like the fact that y'all interacting with me, but it's like are y'all even watching the video like I'm dead like I I watched the video again, and I'm like I didn't say any other stuff I literally went to the link and I read Everything on this wig, so I'm gonna do it again. All right, so what the f This is the Victoria pre-plucked front lace wig straight human hair hair type is Indian version hair Hair length is 20 inches. Color, natural black. Hair style, look number one. Cap construction, six part glueless full lace wig. Hair density, 180%. Cap size, medium, 22.5 inches. Bleach knots, whole front bleach. Pre-made fake scalp. The cap was light brown and it came with an additional elastic band. This came out to $374 when I got it. I got this eight months ago. When I went back on the link, they have it for $200 now. So I really do suggest that you go and grab this wig because even with the $40 off discount, I still had to pay $374 and now they have it for $200. And I'm honestly debating if I should get another one because that's a steal. I can just dye it a color that I want because honestly, I really do love this wig. It's like one of the most natural wigs that I've ever worn in my life. It's very easy to work with. So, time for the update. Hold on, I'm just sipping a little because I'm gonna film another video after this. Whew. Okay. When I first got it, the hair was very, very luscious, soft. Like, the movement was crazy. Silky, silky straight. In order for me to get that texture back, I need to take care of the hair. Like, I have to put in a hair mask, some conditioner, um, you know, really use really good products on the wig because it just doesn't... If I was just to wash it and put like a leave-in conditioner or something, it's not gonna have um, that same luscious feeling that it had when I first got it. So I really do suggest after a few months, you start applying a hair mask on it so that you could keep the moisture and just the softness of the wig. But it is still very good. I'm not saying it got hard and brittle, but it's not as luscious as when I first got it. This is a straight wig, so it is kind of hard to keep a curl because it's naturally straight. So if I really want tight curls, I have to use my got to be spray. Spray the hair first, curl it, and then spray it again, and maybe even pin curl it, and then the curl will really hold. But today, see, I did I did tight curls today, and I filmed the video, and I brushed it out, and now it's just a big wave. So if you want something that's gonna hold a really tight curl, I wouldn't suggest getting this one. I would suggest maybe getting a, another wig from Hair VV that's a body wig so it can hold the curl really nicely. But this is straight. I don't have a problem with it because I wanted a straight wig. Like I wanted it to be pin straight. It's holding up really good even though it's only been eight months. But I realized I did get a size a little too big. I probably should have gotten a small but I was scared to get a small because it's better to get a, a wig that's slightly bigger than something that just doesn't even fit. So. I got it in the medium size but I'm kind of glad that I got it in the medium size because let me tell you I don't know if I was just being a little too rough with the hair and I'm known to be pretty rough with wigs and all that 
so the front tool it started to it started balding but thank god since i got it in a bigger size all i had to do was trim um the bald spot and now it looks brand new like how i first got it the hairline is popping everything is good i don't know i feel like it is a little okay so look i'm running my fingers through it and it's not like luscious you know it's not silky smooth it's a little it's not like matted but it but my fingers don't smoothly run through it you see how i gotta like it's a little knotted but it's nothing crazy shedding wise it doesn't really let me see okay so I got three strands. Hold on, let me see. It doesn't shed like crazy. It doesn't shed like crazy. But it sheds like any other wig. Um, but it's nothing like drastic. Like, oh my god, balls of hair. I just pulled out like four little strands. But that's fine. I feel like the density still looks amazing. The hair still looks amazing. I get a whole bunch of compliments when I wear this wig. Even though it's been um, eight months. When I put this on, everybody thinks, is that a new wig? Is that a new wig? Is that new hair? Like, I'm like, nah, girl. This is the same wig that I've, that I've been wearing for eight months already. I honestly purchased another wig by them. But it's like, I already got a wig about to be made. And I'm not going to pay for another one. But I mean, like, if y'all want to send me another wig, like, you know, that'll be nice. Like, a little blonde wig. You know, I could rock that. I could support that. Feel me? But, yeah, um, this is the hair. Looks good to me. Feels good. The only thing, you know, it isn't, like, silky smooth, like, how it was in the very beginning. But, you know, you could take care of it by using a hair mask. <sighs> Anything that I need to say, I don't know. Like, I'm content with this wig. This is, like, if I'm not wearing my natural hair or any box sprays or anything like that, this is what I'm wearing all the time. And I fucks with it. I get a lot of compliments. I always feel good, look good in this wig. And, yeah, um... If you have any other questions, comment down below. I don't know if I'm missing anything. Mm, yeah, this is like my first like updated wig video. So I don't really know what else to say. I really do recommend it, especially since they lowered damn near like $170 off of it. Like it's $200 now, which is a steal. I love it because it comes custom made. Like it just comes made. You don't need to pluck anything. You don't need a wig cap. People literally say it. I'm wearing it straight out the box. Like straight out the box, put it on and you're good to go. Like I freaking love this wig. Super natural. That's it. Uh, like I said, any other questions that you want to ask me or something that I didn't answer, just comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave a beautiful, positive comment down below and give me a thumbs up. Bye. These got nothing on.